All right, so I've got a good question. I think it's a very relevant question. How many of you are excited that Ramadan is coming up? MashaAllah. You're welcoming your generous guest. MashaAllah. Tayyib. So this question is, what is your advice to young Muslims on how to make the most of Ramadan? Um, Ramadan is the month of Qur'an. It is the month of Qur'an. I think that uh, particularly I see even with the religious practicing youth that are in that category of religious practicing youth, uh, people rarely have a relationship with the Qur'an unless they're in a hef school getting beat on. Okay. Otherwise, they don't really seem to have a relationship with the Qur'an. Acquaint yourself with the Qur'an somehow. Um, and make, your, you know, make a goal that's realistic. You need to prepare for it. Something needs to change about you in Ramadan. Something needs to change about you in Ramadan. Now, so you need to acquaint yourself with the Qur'an, a share of the Qur'an. It is Shahrul Qur'an, the month of the Qur'an. Secondly, what you need to do is you need to make sure that, you know, Ramadan is there so that you could gain taqwa, so that you could, you could get rid of your sins. And Imam Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he says something very important. Imam Suhaib touched on it in the talk, which is the whole concept of pre preferring deen to your desires. What has preference in the deen? Doing good deeds or abandoning sins? Abandoning sins. Taqwa means to abandon sins. The point of Ramadan, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامِ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Siyam was written upon you as it was written upon those who came before you so that you could gain a sense of taqwa. Imam al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he said, أَعْمَالُ الْبِرِّ يَفْعَلُهَا الْبَرُّ وَالْفَاجِرِ وَلَا يَقْوِي عَلَى تَرْكِ الْمَعَاصِي إِلَّا صُدِّيقًا Imam al-Qayyim said, anybody can do good deeds. A righteous person and a not so righteous person. A fajr. But the only one who will be able to abandon his sins is one who is truthful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you gain nothing else out of Ramadan except that you got rid of your haram relationship or you got rid of something that you knew was a barrier between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is more productive than a person who left those things lingering around but decided to volunteer more and to do more charity but did not take care of the root of the problem. So my advice when you go into Ramadan, this might be your last Ramadan. Allahu alam, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma balighna Ramadan to, to allow us to live till Ramadan. Try to identify the, the sins, the things that could be standing between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and get rid of those and acquaint yourself with the Quran even if you're just going to finish reading it one time. All right? It doesn't count when you do khatam hopping. You just jump from masjid to masjid whenever Quran khatams are going on. You yourself need to read the Quran. You need to make sure you finish it at least one time in the month of Ramadan. Jazakumullah. Okay, and also um, I've asked the, the, the speakers here, because of the amount of questions, uh, we'll be trying to sum up some of the questions addressing the issue within it. So listen closely. You may not find your particular question read and answered, but your, your issue may be addressed. So please li listen carefully. <laughs> 